My name is Dr. Belinda Mendenhall. I work at Equine Services, LLC. We have two branches, one in Shelbyville, Tennessee, and the other in Leeton, Alabama. We are primarily a uh, performance horse medicine, um, lameness, and um, clinic, as well as an ambulatory practice. Stable Lab in a couple different ways. Um, we use it for initial diagnostics, especially it's especially helpful on those horses that we're trying to differentiate between um, allergies and actual illness. Um, so we use it a lot in our initial diagnostics to be able to do that, to be able to determine if we need to treat with antibiotics or if we need to treat with go to a different modality of treatment. We also use it in our in-house medicine cases to determine efficacy of the antibiotics that we've chosen for that horse. So. We use it um, either daily or every couple days on our really sick horses to be able to determine if the antibiotics that we're using are being effective for it. Where normally we would have to send out cultures and sensitivities, we are able to uh, treat more real time with the patient. Having an SAA result at the time of my examination really helps uh, us determine how best to treat that animal. Um, it also helps us determine severity of uh, the problem that we're, we are facing and it helps us better choose uh, modalities of treatment, whether it's a lower SAA that the owner might be able to treat at home or if it's something more serious that needs to be hospitalized and we need to treat it more intensively there at the clinic. ways we use Stable Lab in our practice in terms of like a barn situation or um, determining if an animal is contagious or not is we, we all, a lot of times use that in like a board like say a boarding barn setting where you have a horse that's new into the herd and you're concerned that that horse is going to be contagious to other horses we can run a Stable Lab on that horse and determine is this snotty nose due to allergies or is this snotty nose due to um, you know something that's going to be contagious and passed to the other animals in that farm. Uh, we can also use Stable Lab to be able to determine if like the horse is stable next to it prior to any clinical signs is having any kind of issues um, we can run at to make sure that horse is staying um, contagion free versus needing to be also treated for the same, for the same illness. If I were talking to somebody regarding stable lab use in the practice, I would say that it's a huge time and time saver for us as clinicians, as it makes our uh, job more effective and more efficient. Um, there's less ambiguity in our answers to our clients. We can definitively say, your horse that has a snotty nose is due to allergies and is not contagious. Or we can definitively say, your horse with a snotty nose has elevated SAA, therefore it has the chance of being contagious to your other animals and so we can t save time and be more efficient because we're able to go down one uh, pathway in terms of discussion versus having to cover do a blanket speech to cover both both pathways so we're able to say it's either A or B instead of it could be or it could be this or it could be that so it makes us as clinicians more effective more efficient we don't and it makes it saves our clients time and money too because we're not treating unnecessarily while we're waiting for test results to get back to us.